Do you remember Monk? When those weirdo they thought Monk is a is an alien. Those are the people in USA. Just give them any conspiracy and they will make movies about it. <coughs> Somebody was playing with the drone and they saw Monk in that area and right away Monk he become an alien. And because he moved his hand in a certain way, everybody start copying Monk. You remember? Yeah. A bunch of weirdo. Everything is possible. Anyway. So like in, you know, in the news, they are talking about what they will do, but I think what they will do is going to be shameful. It's not going to fit with the crime is happening. And the American, they are busy with the border. They are busy with homosexuality. They are busy with the sign in the bathroom. They are busy with everything stupid, except something important. You know, the first thing uh, Biden, he when he came to the office, he says, we are going to put the oil business out of business. And what that did, that made the Iranian rich, made the Russian richer, made all the Muslim richer, except the American. And inflation went so crazy because of that decision. Just today, Biden, he forbid exporting our gas abroad. And then you ask yourself, why in the world we are exporting gas in the same time we are buying gas? Oh, we have a lot of extra, so why you are buying from Qatar? Because they are stupid. Terry, how do you re respond to that? I think that that is a, a conditioned response that he would, he obviously is standing by the troops in the, in the, that are at, at, in harm's way. And he's also signaling that it's time to widen the conversation about what needs to be done in this war that it's not just whack-a-mole with a few Houthis here and a few Iran-backed militias there, that we have a broader problem on our hands and that the president needs to use all of his authority and all of his powers, including under the War Powers Act, to go ahead and fight this battle as rigorously as he net. I think that Speaker Johnson is giving uh, uh, President Biden a, a green light to go as far as he needs to go. Congressman Mike Collins of Georgia asking the question, are we at war? Drew, your thoughts. At the moment, no. Potentially tomorrow or the next day, sure, that's possible. Things with Iran could be coming to a head. But one other thing I'd add is we have is an ally in Israel. We have an ally in Jordan. We need to consult with them also. Because you know, uh, Jordan is an ally. <laughs> that's one of the funny things, you know. The, the, the Jordanian army... <laughs> I mean, here you see the stupidity of those who they are. This guy is a congressman. This guy is supposed to be a congressman. Yet you do not know that we do not need Jordan because we are controlling more than 40% of Syria, which means we have the land there and we have the army there. So who cares about Jordan? We have to consult with Jordan. Who is Jordan? The Jordan don't even have an army. They can't even afford to pay for the police. Their king, he wear high heels because he's so short. This is who is the king of Jordan. This is telling you that the one who is in the government are a bunch of stupid. Why in the world we need, we have a strong enemy in Jordan. What that Jordan would do? All the airplane, the Jordanian they have are our junk. It's a donation from USA. Anything became so old, we give it to Jordan, we give it to Egypt, we give it to those Muslim countries. It's a fact. Trump, 
Trump stood up for the Jewish people. Well, he stood up for Israel, yes, but he did not stood up for us. Trump, he was very good for the Jews, but he was not good for us. And I will tell you why. We just mentioned to you how the Iranian hit us many times during Trump. He did nothing. The same as Biden. They hit exactly like today. They hit an American base in Iraq. In fact, the Iranian, they said, we are going to hit your base two hours before. And they sent ground missiles and they injured exactly the same number as I remember, 25 soldiers. And then what Trump, he said, if there is one of them he died, then I will respond. Huh? Are you waiting until they kill us? Trump is the same. He was a president. He never attacked Iran. He never launched any attack on Iran. The only thing he did, he killed this guy, Qasmani, which is nobody. Nobody, he's nobody. He's a leader, who cares, you know, you kill him, they will replace him. There's a, there's a, there's a thousand people waiting for to take his position. I mean, who in the world can believe that there's a victory by killing a guy? He's nobody. So Biden and Trump, they gave the Iranian the courage to attack us nonstop. Not only Biden and Trump, Obama before them, uh, George Bush before them, all of them. As I mentioned, Hezbollah killed 200 Marines since the time of Reagan. What Reagan did? Nothing. In fact, he would withdraw. I'm not going against Trump. This is not against anybody. This is saying the truth. Why people, they cannot see that we are stating the truth. You see, if I am going against Trump the way you are saying it, that means I am making things up to be against Trump. I voted for Trump, and if you go for election, I will vote for him again, because we have no better person than him to stand against those idiots. But doesn't mean we don't say the truth. Why, when somebody say the truth, it's about against? Are we blind? When I say Trump, he did nothing, well, prove me wrong. All what the Trump he did, he put sanctions, thank you very much. Okay, that was a smart. But the Trump is the same dump who did not force the sanctions on Turkey. So look what happened now. If we go to the map, what happened? We made sanctions on Iran. Let us show the map so we can laugh together at the sanctions. The sanction is a very smart idea. And me, myself, I appreciate it very much. But the smart Trump, when he made the sanctions, he forgot that his friend Erdogan is a bunch of a scumbag leader. So in fact, Erdogan, he took advantage of the sanctions and Erdogan got so rich because of it. So now we sanctions Iran, but Iran is buying everything they want at that time from Russia. We have no sanctions. We have no sanctions in Iraq. So what, what we did? Nothing. They still sell their oil. They still buy our weapon. They still buy and sell as you wish. How come Trump, like, is it possible that Trump and the CIA and the FBI and the, all the stupid agencies we have, they did not hear that the Iranian, they have a business hub in Emirat and in Qatar? They did not hear that a huge import happening from two and two, four? So what the point of those sanctions? How come they go blind in, in Turkey? So my friend, all of them are a bunch of potatoes. 
the Iranians are laughing at the American sanctions, which is useless. They made sanctions on Russia, but Russia is still selling their oil. The same as before, nothing changed. Nothing changed. Their friend Moody, the best friend of, uh, you know, he is the one who is buying the oil of Russia. How come they don't put sanctions? So what the sanctions mean? The sanctions, if you buy from them, we will put penalty on you. So did you put penalty in India? No. In fact, they signed a lot of agreement with India. Uh, uh, Prime Minister, he was here just last year. Everybody knows that the Indians are enjoying the cheap price of the Russian oil. Where is your sanctions? So Trump sanctions, Biden sanctions is just a stupidity. In fact, the sanctions they do made Iran get powerful. And I will tell you why. You see, when you cannot buy certain object because there are sanctions on you, it's very hard to bring it. So what they do, they start manufacturing those same object. So Iran, instead of using to buy, now they are making it. So now after 20, 30 years of sanctions, they don't buy it no more. They are developing with their own manufacturer and they are doing better job than what they used to do. 20. Actually, just yesterday, Iran launched a satellite. Just yesterday, right? So where is the sanctions? Do you know what satellite mean? How and where they are getting all the computer chips from? The very high tech. From where? Oh, we have sanctions. This is just yesterday. They launched two satellites. Let's see if this is about the satellite. Hold on. So here we go. This is about satellite. Yeah, this is the news about satellite. Let's see the date, just to be sure. This is the terrorist TV at Jazeera. Uh, this is from November 5th. Let us see the one which is in you. I think in November it was not successful, and now this one, it is successful. All right. Oh, really, they have many selections. I'm, I'm mistaken. Look, this is... This is even from, yeah, this is from October and November. They launched a three uh, military satellite already. Iran, third military satellite to orbit. This is September 27. So obviously your sanctions is working very good. Very, very good, you know. I will not be surprised if they already they have a nuke. Why not? Because, you know, our sanctions is working very good. So while your enemy is preparing for real war, your president, he is preparing to put a sign for a transgender on the bathroom. Do you see the difference? They are preparing themselves to attack us, to kill us, and your president and your government are busy. They can't even agree about having a fence in the border. South American cartel is controlling, I mean, their, their, their drugs. I mean, look, they are busy giving you a fine for not cutting the grass in the front of your yard.
They are busy giving you a fine for stupid things. But we have a trucks loaded with guns and weapon and all kind of garbage, all kind of drugs, and it goes through. How? Nobody knows. YouTube is busy blocking your comment. This is what the liberals they do. But YouTube, they will not shut down the terrorist account of Hezbollah in YouTube. Even Hamas, they have official website. Let me open the until now it's open. Did you ask yourself how come Biden did not command to close it? Or even Trump? Seriously, do you know why? We own the internet. We own all websites in the world. Even if you buy them. How come we did not close their website? Look at this. Oh, no way. Hamas.com is shut down? No way. I just, I just searched for Hamas.com. It turned to be off. They shut it down. Maybe this is just time. I mean, after 20 years, now they decide to close it. <laughs> Let me see the, the other one. All right. Huh. Look at this. This is in Telegram. I don't have Telegram. Here it says, Harakat Hamas. al mawqa al rasmi li Harakat Hamas. The official uh, address of Hamas. And this is in Telegram. So, as you see, they are welcome everywhere. USA cannot report this, uh, you know, to force uh, a Telegram to shut a, a Hamas uh, account. No, they cannot. They can just, uh, you know, block the account of Trump. You know? If you are Trump, you are president of USA, we mute you. We censor you. Even the president, they censor him. Hamas.com is working, or maybe from my uh, computer does not, I don't know. It's working, let me check again. I tried to open it here, it did not work. Oh, it's working, you are right. Look at this. I thought it's closed, it's not. And this is ISIS flag. And remember, they are the liberation of Palestine. I mean, if it if if Biden is serious, if this is stupid government in USA are serious, at least shut down their website, you donkey. At least. Look at this. They have even videos there. And look, they are counting for you the dead. Zionist, Zionist wounded. Look, they are showing you women. Look, look at those. Look, look how filthy they are. Zionist, Jewish killed. Jewish homes burned, 1,300. Zionist civilian murdered, 1,400. Since October 7.
<laughs> Zionist. Yeah, Trump, Biden, I don't see much different. I see a bunch of idiot cowards. They made the whole world make mockery of our army. I feel sorry really for those soldiers who they are in the army, who they are beaten, attacked, and they cannot respond. This is those are the one who I feel sorry for them. We are sitting home here with nothing happened to us. But those poor kids who they are in the army, they are being attacked left and right. And what we do, we will respond. We shall respond. Yeah, right. How we shall respond? Why you did not respond last month and the month before it and the month before it and the month before it and the year before it and 10 years before it? Because it's their homeland that's going to be attacked if we go to war. And this needs to be done in a coordinated way. It's not just a matter of pushing a button. Would you expect that we see the Secretary of State flying out to the region once again? Well, he's been there plenty. It's time to go back. And it's time to, as we've talked about here today, to rally the troops and figure out how we're going to meet this threat. Because it's not going to go away. 159 attacks. There's no reason why there won't be 159 more attacks. So it's time to get a unified, a unified effort underway to deal with the Iranians and what they pose in the region. What about Tony Blinken's role? Secretary Blinken is respected around the world. Uh, let me tell you what the Blinken is doing. He is a blinking for now. He blink, you know? I mean, do you want more threat than a blinking? He's a blinking. I mean, look what they are talking about. If the president is a potato, what a blinking? Is it a blinking is the one who made the decision? His name is a blinking. I mean, we have a scary names in the in the government, you know. Hunter Biden. He is the one who make deals. He is the president. We have Nancy Pelosi. I mean, but just what about we show the picture of Balusi to the Iranian? They will be scared and they will run away. What if we show them the refrigerator she have? She have a freezer just for chocolate. You see, she was talking about, I don't know if you saw the video. People complain about inflation, the, 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 the heat bill, they cannot pay for it, the gas, you know, everything became expensive. And she have a refrigerator behind her cost 20, sorry, $200,000. Those are very special refrigerators just for chocolate. Oh, look how much they are suffering. I mean, put yourself in her shoes. She need to eat chocolate every day. She have a, a whole freezer behind her, a very expensive one full of the most expensive they sent her chocolate from around the world anyone remember the the video let us see wherever she go chocolate have to be in the front of her look at this I mean, they are struggling. Let us, I mean, let us be honest. If there is anyone struggling like those people, I want to find the, 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 the interview she was talking about her chocolate. Hold on, where is the... This is not the one I want. I mean, this woman is weird, though. Look, I searched for, for her chocolate. I found a million video of her with chocolate. What? Nancy but Lucy tasting chocolate? Listen, listen carefully. This is a very hard job. This is not easy. What you will see now is a top secret. I hope Iran will not see it because they will be terrified. 
Hold on, hold on. Let me let me bring the video here. Hey, Nancy, what do you have for us today? San Francisco. I'm a chocoholic, an expert, an aficionado of good chocolate, a particular fan. Get an idea. I will publish a video and Nancy Bellucci like this, and I will say Nancy Bellucci kidnapped by Hezbollah. <laughs> He said he will respond. <laughs> what he will do? He will he will make competition of chocolate. What he will do? We know what he will do. He will send this uh, throw rockets here and there. It's a garbage. Yeah, I know, I know. Not shut down. Don't don't post their website. All right. Try to be smart and don't post website of your enemies. Hmm? Don't do that. So Nancy Bellucci, right now, I bet you she is grabbing her chocolate and she is thinking seriously how we can respond to killing three of our soldiers. And I think she will eat more chocolate now because she is stressed. You know, there is people, there is babies are hostages and Nancy Bellucci is hostages by chocolate. Who can beat that? Well, Trump, he can afford 84 million. And you know what? I don't mind if a Trump he paid 84 million for his stupid six adventurers. If he behave, if he is a straight man, if he's a good man, he will not be in that position. Why in the world even he is there? He's just an idiot. They go after you when you do mistakes. If you don't have those stupid mistakes, and other I can't even call them mistake. This is fair. If you don't have your stupidity and your you know low class behavior, well they cannot go after you and check those things. So let him pay a hundred million dollar, you know. I hope actually every politician who go out to, with the prostitute to be exposed. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, this is Nancy Bellucci. Who can be that man? I mean, that's it. Your salvation is in their hand. Hezbollah cannot attack you no more. After they see this video, <laughs> Hezbollah will be terrified. I mean, what if we launch an attack by the chocolate of Nancy Bellucci on Hezbollah? He's very, very credible. He has very good relationships. So it would make sense to send them out there quickly. Okay. Um, it is also political season, obviously. <laughs> and so this will be an opportunity, I suppose, to be a contrast between President Trump, former President Trump, and President Biden. What about that? What about election year power? Yeah, yeah. And now Trump, he, say, he will say, if I was the president, I will respond, a massive response. But we saw you when you were there, you did nothing. When Trump, he was there, he did nothing. Totally nothing. The Iranian, they did the same, same attack. No sound? Huh? Uh, why no sound? I'm not sure why. Sound is gone. Well, I know from my side, it sound fine. That looked like You guys lost sound, you are saying. Not sure. What happened? We lost connection. Do you hear me, guys? Am I heard? Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure why you guys, you said you lost uh, sound. Yeah. Now, Trump, he will go in TV and he will brag about if he was the president, he will do this and that. But remember, 
The Iranian they attack us the same exact attack in Iraq. And they injured the exact same number. And Trump, he did nothing. He, they took down a drone. Trump, he did nothing. They attack our ship in the Red Sea, the, in, the, in the Persian Sea. He did nothing. Trump, he is the same as Biden. So now he's not in the office. Trump, he will brag about if he was the president. This is, will never happen. But go check in the four years of a Trump, how many times the Iranian, they attack our American bases. And Trump, he did nothing. He did only attack one person. He killed him. That is Qasim Soleimani, which is nobody. Is nobody. You killed him, they hired 10 instead of him. Who care? He did not destroy their warehouses. He did not destroy their missiles. He did not destroy anything. Which one is more important? So I say, Americans are doomed because they don't have a leadership. They don't have a government. They don't have a president. They have a bunch of people doing business. All what they care about is how to make money, stay in election, get a bribe, and be on TV. And now those guys they are talking about launching war. Let us see. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But tomorrow will come and you will see. He will go and he will attack a bunch of small bases here and there. And he will claim that he responded. And those respond, actually, they will tickle Hezbollah more to attack more. Because now they will notice we killed their soldiers. And still it is the same. They don't care and they don't attack us back. So let us see tomorrow will come. And I will, I will, I will come back to you, and you know, let us hope that the Christian prince is wrong, and Biden he will do what he should do as a president, but I believe he will not. Well, all of them are the same. My friend Trump or Biden is the same. When it comes to Iran, all those are potatoes. You see, do you remember the guy who was uh, the, uh, the the consultant of Trump? What is his name? Anyone remember? And Trump, he fired him. The guy with the mustache, I forgot his name. That guy, he advised Trump many times to attack Iran. The potato Trump, he refused. He wanted to win the election, that's all. In fact, if he attack Iran, Nobody can take the election from him. He's just a stupid idiot. He thought if he did not go to war, he would be the only president who did not go to war, which is false. So that guy advised him. I mean, they are attacking us, attacking us, you know, retain your reputation as the president. Trump, instead of following what this guy, he said, he fired him. He threw him out. John Bolton, yes, John Bolton. Exactly. The guy was giving him a good advice to show those people their size. If if Trump he did at that time, Irina would not dare to attack again. Now I don't agree with this guy in everything, but when it's come to Iran, he was right. And yet, the stupid Trump, he got rid of him. If you notice, one of the failure of Trump when he was a president, he fired people every few days. Sometimes he hired them for one day. Second day, he fired them. Like Muhammad. He make a verse in the morning. He abrogated the verse afternoon. Very confused person. He did not know what to do. He do not know who to hire. And when somebody gave him good advice, he dumped him. How many uh, foreign minister Trump he have? Just go check. Four? Almost he have one every year or maybe five. And same goes for everything else.
He keep changing ministers. He keep changing officials. And the only one who stay is Ivanka Trump and Kushnar because they are useless. They just make business deal behind the scene with Qatar, with oil companies, bribes. Those are the one who stay. You see, they are speaking about Hunter Biden and he is, you know, well, we know what Ivanka and Kushner is about. Qatar, they rented the, the building of Kushner for $1 billion for the coming 99 years. If there's anyone here want to rent my house for the coming 99 years and pay me rent? Have you ever heard of somebody paying rent for the coming 99 years? Yeah, this is other stupid thing. You know, they just give Turkey a massive number of air, air, airplanes. I think 80, imagine 80. Obviously, Turkey is preparing themselves to invade Greece. And they give few airplanes for Greece just to make it look like we are not making Turkey ready to invade you. My friend, I say to you that those who they are in charge are the most evil ever you can imagine. And the only one I am sorry for them is the soldiers, soldiers, the American soldiers and their families. We send them to war, but they cannot do what should do at war. I remember when the Marines, they enter into Fallujah and one of the Marines was shooting the coward of ISIS, who they burn American civilian alive. They took this poor guy to court. And they want to jail him for 10 years. Why? He was killing ISIS. But isn't this what you send him for? Oh no, they were injured. Really? The other guy, they put him in jail because he pissed on them. I mean, do you see how silly, how stupid? Those soldiers, they go, they risk their life. Many of them, they die in the battle and they go through hell. And now, because he, he, this guy, I mean, he is frustrated. Finally, we killed him. And now we want to put him in jail for a few years. For what? For killing them? Will we send them there to kill them? So the only one really I feel sorry for is those soldiers. Nobody care for your children. Neither Trump, neither Biden. Trust me, nobody care. You know, when Trump, he sent your kids in January 6th to the Congress. Hmm? A week after he was playing golf. And many of your kids, they were in jail and they were going to be present for 20 years. Trump even didn't talk about them. He forgot about it. He washed his hand from them. He said, I have nothing to do with them. But he is the one who sent them. So we have a disease. People are blind. They just support the man. It doesn't matter how ugly he is, how good he is, how bad it is. He support the man. So let us make it clear. Biden, Trump, all are the same garbage. The difference is that Trump, at least, he have little brain. At least in economy. At least he makes sense when he speak. At least he have a logic when he talk. At least... Biden, he have nothing. Biden don't remember his name. I'm sure, you know, I think Biden is the guy who they told me about, you know. There's a guy, his name is Joe Biden. He is a heavy sleeper, even when he's awake. In the middle of the night, he went to piss. When he came back home, going back to his bed, he said to his wife, he remember something, he said, Honey, when we opened the door of the bathroom, do the light come by itself? His wife, the wife of Joe Biden, she said, no, honey, this is the refrigerator. And this is what our American president, they do one after one. They piss in your refrigerator. So if I'm going to vote, I have no choice but to vote for Trump, but not because he is so good. No, 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 he's not. He is the same. He pissed in your refrigerator. 
but he have he have more sense. I mean, common sense, like close the border, fix the economy, let us use our gas and our oil. Common sense. You do not need to be genius. The other side are mentally ill. The other side is busy with the chocolate and homosexuality and transgender and putting the flag of the trans, the, 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 the LGBT, LGB community on the White House. This is what they are busy with. Our enemy is preparing for invasion to attack us, to kill our kids, and they are killing our kids already. And what we are busy with, with all the stupid things you can imagine. So we will vote for Trump, but not because he is the best, but because he is the only choice. Otherwise, he was there for four years and he did nothing with Iran. In fact, he is the one who protected Qatar. What we can do? It is what it is. Garbage in, garbage out. Well, today we don't have many people here. Look like Sunday people are busy. So I'm going to say enjoy your Sunday. And let us hope that Biden, he will receive an advice that, you know what, if you respond in a massive way, that will fix your reputation from being potato to be called eagle, lion. In fact, if Biden is a smart, this is his great opportunity to increase his publicity, which is going down to zero almost. If he attack Iran in a massive way to the point he teach them how to be here for the coming century, every American will respect him. But would this idiot do so? I don't think so. So I want to say thank you for today for joining us. And Ante will see you tomorrow. We pray for the soul of those poor soldiers who died. And we pray that we will be able to punish those who kill them and make them pay a very heavy price for the crime they did. We pray for that. I mean, thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.